Adding page numbers to a Crystal Reports report is probably the second easiest thing you could do. Making those page numbers appear on different sides of the page, depending on the page number that you're on, is slightly different. So if we take the data report, we know we can add the page number by moving the field from the special fields. So let's grab the page number field and add it to the page footer on the right, and then grab it again and add it on the left. Now we might just want to make sure that they're aligned the same. So we align them to the top and let's push their font up slightly so we can see them in action. We'll then left align the left page number and we'll right align the right page number, bring it onto the page. And then in preview, you'll see we have page one at the bottom of the first page, page two at the bottom of the second page, page three, etc. What we now need to do, however, is make the facing pages, so the odd pages only have the number here, and the even pages only have the number here. So we do that through conditional formatting. So let's handle the left hand side first. So let's right click, format the field, suppress. We don't want to suppress it all the time. We want to add a condition that will suppress it. And we'd like the page number to be suppressed when it's an odd page. So we can use a little formula that says let's work out what the integer value of the page number, which is a Crystal Reports formula that determines the current page number. So if integer of the page number divided by two is not equal to page number divided by two, then it must be an odd page because an even page won't have the same result. For example, if we took three, divided three by two, we end up with one and a half. So this side of the formula will be one and a half. But this side of the formula would be an integer of one and a half, which is one. So they would not be equal. Therefore, we're on an odd page. Therefore, we're suppressing this particular field, which is the left hand side page number. Save and close. OK. And nothing appears to have happened because we're on an even page and we would like that two to be there. Let's go back to page one and we see the left hand one is suppressed. It's still there. You can still see the fields there if you click on it but it's suppressed. And the same should apply for page three. It's not there. Page four, it appears. Page five, it's not there. So we're halfway. What we now need to do is make this field here, the odd side one, be suppressed when we're on an even page. So right click, format the field, common. It's the suppression value that we're trying to change, x2. So we want to suppress the odd page numbers when we're on an even page. So that means the int of the page number divided by two must be equal to page number divided by two. So if we take page 16 as an example, that's an even number. Divide that by two, we get eight. Divide that by two and work out the integer, we get eight. The two values are the same. The field will be suppressed, so it will be suppressed on even pages. Save and close. OK. And we see that it disappears. We're on an odd page, it remains. But obviously this side has disappeared. So the two fields still remain there. If you click in where they are, you see you get the rectangle. And in design, you can see both fields. But because of the conditional formatting to suppress each one on their opposing pages, we can then click through our report or print, or it might even be output to PDF. And you find that you get odd numbers on the right-hand side, even numbers on the left-hand side. By adding that formula, behind the suppression value for both of the two page numbers. Obviously in one of them, it's where page number divided by two is equal to the integer of the page number divided by two. And on the other side, it's the integer of the page number divided by two not being equal to the page number divided by two. But it's a clever little use of the conditional formatting to create alternate page numbers.